Okay, so for those that want the extra guidance, here is an example doing glucose. So glucose has six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. So we're going to start by figuring out where our carbons are. So remember, every time you have one of these little corners, you have a carbon. So I've got a carbon here, a carbon here, a carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here. So that's one, one, two, three, four, five. I should have six. So there's a carbon here that single bonds to a carbon here, and that is my sixth carbon. Okay. Now recall that you also have hydrogen. So remember, every single carbon has to have four bonds. So looking at this carbon here, it has one, two, three. I have to add a hydrogen carbon. One, two, three, have to add a hydrogen. So now each of these carbons here has four lines coming out of it. This carbon here has one, two, three, and four. And then I can check to see, do I have my 12 hydrogens? Okay, so now each of these hydrogens that are bonded to this oxygen also count. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through how to build this. And I'm gonna just start with my carbon. So I'm gonna start with this carbon here. It's gonna off to the side. And it's gonna bond to another carbon. So that's that carbon, carbon. And I am going to now do this carbon ring, okay? So each of these carbons is actually just single bonded to each other. Okay, so I've got my carbon, 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 one more carbon here. And then I've got a carbon that's bonded to an oxygen. Oxygen is red. Okay, so now I have this ring structure. Now I'm going to add on the rest of my pieces here. So start with this carbon. This carbon here has an OH group. So that means I've got an oxygen and a hydrogen. So that's my OH. This OH is represented right there. And this is gonna get bonded to this carbon down here. And then that carbon has two other H's. This carbon has an H. This carbon has an OH and an H. This carbon has an OH and an H. This carbon here has an OH and an H. Hard to see here. I'm gonna zoom out a little. And this carbon here has an OH and an H. So this is my glucose model with my organic chemist code. And here is my glucose model in 3D. And just remember to check each of your carbons should have four bonds.